first, uh, none of that stock. We shot all that. And uh, shark water, about 3 or 4% of it was stock. About some of the stuff uh, of the sharks hitting bait balls that you saw in the opening credits. And two great white shark shots. Cool. You've been shooting underwater since you were a kid. So how many were any of these like old, fo old images that you took a long time ago? Or were they all... None of these were old images, um, but I got a little story to tell you. So, funding this movie, I thought would be a lot easier because Sharkwater had some, some success. And so, we went out and we pitched this movie and all of a sudden we had $5 million. And this was going to be a 3D IMAX movie and everything's going great. We had 11 people, we were traveling the world shooting this movie, and then Ottawa happened. And I was spray painting green and fist pumping and saying, you know, we don't just need Priuses and compact fluorescent light bulbs, we need a revolution. And two days later, all $5 million were gone. And we were left with $150,000. And so we had to make a movie on, you know, a radically different budget. We made this for half the money we did Sharkwater. And we did that because I met a lot of people in the process of Sharkwater that helped me make this movie and that, you know, came and shot some of this stuff with us and cameras got a lot smaller. So it was a... It was a radically different filmmaking process, but this time, you know, I could, with Sharkwater, if you even saw it, uh, we were traveling with 35 cases of equipment. It was a ridiculous amount of gear, and on this one, you know, I could take a little carry-on bag and sneak in and out of countries with relative ease.